just a month after KTM announced the revamped 1290 Super Adventure S with its next generation electronics, reworked bodywork and optimized chassis, the Austrian manufacturer has dropped the cover on their new off-road focused flagship model, the Super Adventure R. While we won't see the high-tech adaptive cruise control system released on the S model, the big Enduro does get wide range of updates focused on making it easier to ride on the trail and meet the new Euro 5 standards. Before we dive into the details of the new Super Adventure R, if you're new here and you want to catch some amazing motorcycle related content and all the new bike releases, be sure to hit that subscribe button. The new Euro 5 compliant LC8 V-Twin makes a claimed 160 horsepower with 101.8 pound feet of peak torque. KTM has managed to shave some weight to the tune of 1.6 kilograms or just over 3.5 pounds down from the previous version. The new improved Super Adventure R also features a revised split radiator setup. Paired with clever air ducting to dissipate heat away from the rider, it should make rider more comfortable for longer periods of time. KTM also says that the revised Pankel gearbox is now more responsive, faster and lighter than its predecessor. There's also an optional quick shifter for 2021 if you want it. Suspension-wise, the Adventure R gets a fully adjustable WP Explore 48mm front fork paired with a WP PDS rear shock, which both offer 220mm of travel, which is just over 8.6 inches. Alpina spoked aluminum wheels come short in Bridgestone rubber that KTM also says can be run tubeless with a reassuring O-ring sealant in the spoke nipples. The slim stepped ergonomic seat height is set at 880mm or 34.6 inches. There's also a small amount of storage under the seats, although KTM doesn't give exact dimensions on that space. Team Orange does give dimensions on its generous 23 litre fuel tank though. For a start, it has the 3 cell design to sit as low down as possible to keep the bike's center of gravity nice and low. Additionally, KTM moved the steering head 15mm back and also lengthened its swing arm ever so slightly to improve handling both in cornering and under acceleration. Like its sibling the Super Adventure S, the Adventure R gets that shiny new 7-inch TFT dash and can communicate with the free KTM MyRide app you can install on your smartphone. A full suite of rider aids include a 6-axis IMU, traction control, motor slip regulation, stability control and off-road ABS. You also get 4 regular ride modes, rain, street, sport, off-road and an optional rally mode where you can dial in your own aggressive throttle response as well as select any one of 9 different levels of wheel spin. The 2021 KTM 1290 Super Adventure R should start rolling out into dealers around the world in March 2021. However, for North America, we'll unfortunately have to wait until Q3 of 2021 to see them in our dealerships. Pricing information isn't available yet, but MSRP on the 2020 model started at $18,599, so we hope the 2021 model would be roughly in that price range. For $19,999 though, we now have the fully loaded new kit on the block, none other than the Harley Davidson Pan America 1250 Special, which is a great bike for the money, especially with the adaptive ride height technology that is sure to get many riders intrigued. But for those looking into serious adventure touring, I reckon that the GS would be the obvious weapon of choice. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the new Super Adventure R and if you're in the market for a big adventure tourer, which would be your pick and why. If you like this video then smash the like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content like this, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.